with Canaan or everything above and below the surface will die. How long do we have? No way of knowing. I'm assuming you've dispatched teams to speak to Canaan in person. Yes, we've sent in robotic drones and we've conducted a complete array of scans. This is Canaan's actual form. Initially, he was found in perfect health. But that's not the case. No, there were elevated stress indicators on many of his internal organs. We remotely injected him with nutrients. We deployed medical nanites to restore him to health, but none of it's worked. You said he's over a thousand years old. I mean, this could be part of a longer pattern, something you've not seen since first contact was made with him. May I? These images, can you desaturate the color? Account for the heat distortion. There, on the right flank, these striations. I've seen them before in Tunisian seropods. They typically indicate renal failure of some kind. With any luck, I think we could save your friend. I should have seen this. Well, it's hard to diagnose, especially if you've never seen a Tunisian seropod before. Tell me what you need. Well, I'll need to go through your recent scans to confirm it. And if I could have access to all your research on him, that would help as well. Of course. And one other thing. Oh. Okay, so death. Oh, I can put that on the resume. Oh. It's my second time. It doesn't get any easier. All right, so they reanimated us, which effectively makes us zombies. And I'm really not comfortable with that. Good morning, everyone. Welcome back. Hey, man, aren't you a sight for sore eyes? Oh, head. Nasty after effect, isn't it? <sighs> Your entire DNA has been flushed with positive ions. That all? What about your condition? Did they give you anything for the radiation poisoning? No, there are far more pressing issues at hand. Oh, like hell. What about your father? No sign of him yet, but as far as I know, he's alive and free. Well, at least there's some good news. <sighs> OK, so. What's the plan? How are we gonna get out of here? We're not. What? They need our help. Look, I'm not one to hold a grudge or anything, but they killed us? Yeah, and they won't cure you. Right, grudge. We need to put that behind us. The situation we're facing is beyond grave. For all of us. Hollow data transfer. Virtual sim chambers. Death by force field. Protein shakes that taste like diapers. I know, awesome, right? I'd like to present my team. I believe together we can best find a way to treat Caitlin. Whoa. Is this a neural interface? Do you use this for weapons guidance or for communications? You use it for both, don't you? We don't need your help. Looks like your boss thinks otherwise. Uh, Dr. Zimmerman recently communicated with Callie. Yeah, yeah, it's a... Uh... Wicked dinner party story. Communicating with Callie is my domain. I'm sure you found it a challenge, speaking with her without a neural interface. <laughs> well, I had to die in order to do it. But as it turns out, that's not as impressive down here. Still, I'm sure you both have much to talk about. I'll prepare a brain scan, compare it with our own neural resonance pattern. Yeah, it's a date. You have AI drones? Get out of here. Henry. Sorry, because why would I care? As I see it, the problem is twofold. First of all, we need to devise a treatment. We won't have a second chance if we get it wrong. Secondly, we need to find a way to actually deliver the treatment. Hey, Doc. It looks like the tunnels are really close to the mantle layer of the Earth's core, huh? So we're talking hot. And toxic. Fumes at that level would kill anybody within minutes. And our nanotechnology won't work in those conditions. Still, we have to go down there if we're going to administer the treatment directly to Canaan. That's suicide. The heat and fumes would kill you within seconds. You know what? Not if you had the right protection. Those force fields that you held us in when you murdered us, I'm thinking those could be modified into a personal heat shield. You just have to whittle down the emitter to about the size of an iPod. Ah, oh, yay big. You'll need a power source to match. Our engineers can supply that. Great. To the lab, Hank. Keep a lid on him. I'll do my best. Now, a cure. Can your medical teams create a steroid-based form of insulin? It should restart his renal functions immediately. 
Hyperspecies possess hybrid biological systems. You need to factor in secondary and redundant organ groupings. Of course. I assumed it was Cayman who launched the counterwave off Pakistan, saving millions of lives. It was you. You're the one who communicates with Cayman. We both believe that harmony is preferable to conflict. Then let's return the favor, shall we? any ancient civilization that we know of. The founders of Praxis were humans of extraordinary intelligence. Builders, thinkers who came here after a long struggle with the Akaru. Vampires. So Rana's ancestors left them to rule the surface while they controlled the underworld. Didn't the uh, Akaru ever try to mess with you down here? Many times. Which is why our city's defenses are so advanced. Now we keep our most violent species at bay. See, you never had any wars, or, or dark ages, or crusades. It's just nonstop progress. No wonder Gregory wanted to come here. His betrayal shocked Rana most of all. He was a friend to her. He appeared in the Avatar chamber to give me a message. At worst, it sounds like he bent the rules a little bit. I mean, come on. What is Magnus trying to do but save this place? We keep peace and order for a million lives. Prevent chaos from spreading to the surface. For us, trust must be earned. We gave you a second chance. And this is how you repay us. Rana, I swear, the last I knew he was in custody. For all I know, this means my sanctuary's been compromised. He's just stolen weapon components from a storage facility. What's his plan? And what outland tribe is he in league with? I don't know. I don't even know how he got back down here. Believe me, I know how this looks, but you have to understand, he's as much my enemy as he is yours. <laughs> how is it possible that he managed to get back into the city undetected in the first place? Well, he's managed to find a way to shield himself from detection. Talon's working on a way of tracking him now. When he came to the surface, he came after me using a form of time dilation that allowed him to rift. Oh, yes, we know all about his, uh, continuum experiments. They're responsible for a whole section of our city being destroyed. His rifting leads a very distinct power signature, though, one that our systems may be able to track. Will can help as well. He knows Adam's psychological profile and his history. He's like Houdini. Or, or the guy from Alcatraz. He keeps slipping through our fingers. Well, there has to be a reason he came back to the city other than to cure his illness. I'm certain of it. Well, there could be a thousand reasons. I mean, everything in here is like super valuable future tech. Yeah, look what he did to the dock with those time note things. That was badass. Those are probably spare parts. Imagine what he could do with a whole city's worth of weapons at his disposal. I'll be leading this mission. I know the tunnel's better than most. Hold on. Nobody is going anywhere until you treat her condition first. It's not negotiable. Thanks. And your own personal force field. Transport below tunnels is waiting. Henry, comm check. Signal spot by five, Doc. You're nearing the final nexus point to access pre-mantle level. After that, you won't be able to communicate with us. Understood. You all right? 
I hate rides. <clears throat> Remarkable. It must be 40 kilometers below the surface. Our transport system is only reliable above the asthenosphere. Beyond this point, it becomes very unstable. Unfortunately, Canaan's last known position is about an hour on foot down there. Carbon monoxide levels are rising. We're not in the red zone yet. No jetpacks or hoverboards to speed things up? Oh, I knew I forgot something. <laughs> so, Worth shows up here half dead in 1908. You guys show him mercy, you heal him, he lives.